Christmas is on, people in New Jersey start to tackle those Christmas lists. Could the supply chain affect what's under the tree this year? News 12 New Jersey's Naomi Yane joining us live tonight in Cranford. Naomi. Nick, Nick, listen, you know, everywhere we turn, we're hearing about supply chain issues and how it's affecting the way we shop. And we talked to some store owners and they said this year they had to be ahead of the game to ensure that their shelves were stocked for Christmas shoppers. Supply chain disruptions have been impacting the retail industry for over a year now, and experts say we could continue to see these issues for at least another seven months. The problems really started maybe about May, June, things got pretty bad. I think a lot of customers weren't really aware at that time that there were these issues going on mm -hmm. until they finally hit them at home. From shortages and disinfecting supplies and toilet paper to pricier or scarce Thanksgiving dinner items, the issues the broken link in the supply chain is causing are now right at our doorstep. Store owners are having to plan ahead to ensure stock. I did take into consideration all of what was going on this year, and I did order a lot earlier. A lot of the Christmas items have to be purchased by the end of January, early February. This year, uh, we had to order a lot earlier than we usually do. So most of my Christmas inventory I ordered in the spring. Um, to make sure that I have it. Business management expert and analyst with seven stage advisors, Carl Gould, breaks down the supply chain. The supply chain starts with the boat that gets it to the United States. And it's the challenge of getting that boat into the port, uh, unloaded onto a truck, and, and where, you know, and where we need it on the shelves today. So. Gould also says right now, goods coming in from overseas, especially from Asian markets, are where we're seeing the most delays. I've had both extremes when I try to reorder items. Either I can get them right away or they say I won't be able to get them until springtime. There's quite a few things that we have had to order early and have extras of, specifically watch batteries, who, boxes, wrapping paper, ribbons, all of those things have definitely been an, an issue this year. So we've heard from small business owners and what they've had to do to make sure that their shelves are stocked. And when we talked with our expert, he had some suggestions for shoppers and what they can do at this apparently late stage, you know, uh, for shopping. So he said he suggested this is the year of the gift card. So you can give out gift cards instead of maybe physical gifts. Uh, he also suggested shopping for secondhand or gently used or lightly loved objects. That's always a good one. He also said to maybe try shopping shopping American made uh, because that takes out some of that supply chain issue. Now, one of the store owners that we talked with uh, this evening, Dennis Concha, he told us today his, is his mom's birthday. His mom, Adrienne, is, today's her birthday. And you know what I wanted to know? What I asked him was, did the gift he ordered for her get to her on time? He said he got her flowers and they got there in time.